told you a couple of days ago, Erwin Raphael, the head of Genesis North America, spoke to a gathering of Detroit media, saying of the Genesis Ascendant concept, we are very committed to the Ascendant. If adapted to a production car, he continued, it would be a limited edition and a statement car. We took that quote for what it was, aspirational, a strong intent, but not green-lighted. But some in attendance heard that the show car is headed for a production. Nope, not yet. Jalopnik cleared this up via a Genesis spokeswoman. Genesis is pursuing the feasibility of Asena, but as of now, there's no production confirmation, she said. Some reporters may have gotten ahead of themselves based on speculation. No timelines to share at this time. But take heart. If, again if, the Asena were to be produced, Raphael wouldn't peg numbers or prices, just that the performance ev would be more dear than any Genesis on sale right now. The standard production Genesis G95.0 Ultimate AWD starts at $74,350 before destination, but the Genesis site quotes an all-inclusive price from $84,000, italic sours. So it doesn't seem unreasonable to suggest a small batch electric coupe on a one-off platform with major OEM engineering behind it will step into six-figure territory. And though Raphael and the spokeswoman didn't offer a time frame, Genesis boss Manfred Fitzgerald, in an earlier interview, said his team was pushing to get the electric coupe built and on the road by 2021 or 2022. So how much diluting of the concept would Genesis designers need to do to satisfy real-world prerogatives? Apparently, not much. Fitzgerald said previously that everything on the Asena show car is technically feasible, although Hyundai design chief Peter Schreier said the butterfly doors would probably be subbed out for traditional units. The best of the rest could actually make it down the line. Based on our conversation with designers Luke Donkerwalk and Sina Lee when the Asena debuted at the New York Auto Show in March, we figure the pontoon fenders, knife-edge LED headlights, push-rod-like suspension, and that gorgeous quilted leather interior with the floating, full-width screen and layered 3D carbon fiber R shoe ends. We wouldn't be surprised to see that fully transparent hood become a transparent window in a more conventional hood and the bubble glass canopy get more reinforcement. We also wonder if the designers would fulfill their aerodynamic intention of having air pass through the fenders and the body to provide more cooling and downforce. The Genesis creatives weren't able to complete that detail on the show car, but it's the kind of extreme tolerance feature that Aston Martin designers are including on the Valkyrie. Since Genesis would build this as a testament to the brand's capabilities and ambitions, it's a given that they want to transfer every whiff of magic they created with the show car to the road. Don Kerwalk and Lee, who brought us the Lamborghini Murcielago and 5th Gen Chevrolet Camaro, respectively, understands transferring conceptual seduction to assembly lines. And they'll never get a better reason to introduce stardust gray metallic paint and minus metal copper highlights paired with blue velvet upholstery. The biggest question about the Asena is, what power is it? All we've been told is that there are three electric motors capable of propelling the coupe to 60 miles per hour in about three seconds. Torque and horsepower, battery capacity, range, recharge times, those are mysteries. Some of the Detroit media asked Raphael where production Asana fits into the Genesis road map. We know the carmaker has six vehicles planned by 2022, three sedans, two SUVs, and a sports coupe. Raphael wouldn't say whether the Asena was the promised sports coupe, but we suspect a production Asena would be a profitable side dish, not the widely appealing series car the brand needs. We look forward to seeing it happen, because any road with an Asena on it automatically becomes a better road.